In this lecture, we are going to learn about Fibonacci series. In this series, first two numbers are assumed as 0 and 1 and subsequent numbers are calculated as addition of two previous numbers. So this number can be calculated as 0 plus 1 and next number 2 is calculated as 1 plus 1 because of its previous numbers are 1 and 1 and the next number 3 is calculated using 1 and 2, 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. Similarly, 5 is calculated, 8 is calculated and so on. So we are going to write the program in which a number will be accepted from user and till that level Fibonacci series will be printed. So suppose user enters 5 then series will be till 3 because 0, 1, 1, 2, 3 will form a Fibonacci series of 5. So to solve this problem, we will require two variables. I'm naming them as previous and current. I'm using short forms over here. So we are going to initialize previous equal to 0 and current equal to 1, which are two first numbers. So these will be first two numbers of the series. Now, when we are going to calculate the third variable, it will become the next current and previous value of current will become previous. So here we are required to assign value of current to previous and calculate new current using these two values. So calculating this is fairly easy. We just need to write previous plus current. So you get this new variable. Now because we had to assign this value to previous so that the next value will get calculated. But before calculating this value because current will be changed over here, its previous value we need to store in a temporary location. So before storing this, we will store this value into a temporary variable using temp equal to current and then once this value is calculated we will assign variable pre value of temp like this so our first step will be to store value of current into temp then update your current variable that will be second step and in the third step we will change value of previous so this is first level this is second this is third, fourth and fifth. Now when user enters five, then first two values are known. Hence our loop should work for n minus two times. So suppose user has entered five, then our loop will execute for three times. So let us see how the program is working. I have initialized previous and current to zero and one respectively. I have also initialized TMP as a temporary variable to store current value, integer i for iterations and n for accepting number from user. So these are two lines which will take inputs from user. Then we are printing previous and current as it is as zero and one. Then our iterations are starting from three till the value of n. So if if user has entered 5 then this loop will execute from 3 to 5 so i will vary from 3 4 and then finally 5 so let me use those variables over here my variables are temp then previous current and i so at the time of initialization temp will be holding some garbage value because we have not initialized it previous is holding 0 and current is holding 1 suppose user has entered 5 then in the next statement we are directly printing value of previous and current so on the output device 0 and 1 will be printed notice that i have added a slash t between these two integers so there would be a tab space added on the console screen between these two numbers then our for loop will start i mean initializing it to 3 so i will be 3 in the first iteration then the condition will be checked as 3 less than or equal to 5 because i is equal to 3 and n which was user's input is 5 so condition is true so compiler will start executing this block so in the first statement we are storing value of current into temp so value of current is 1 so we are storing this value into temporary variable then in the next statement we are adding value of previous and current and storing it into current again so current value of previous and current is 0 and 1 so the addition is 1 and it will be stored into current and in the next statement we are storing value of temp into previous so temp is equal to 1 so previous will be 1 because we are assigning value of temporary to previous so this is result of our first iteration and in the second iteration same process will be followed value of i will be incremented it will become 4 and then the condition will be checked again so next condition to be checked is 4 less than or equal to 5 that is true so compiler will move into the for loop and it will store value of current into temp so value of current is equal to 1 that will be stored into temporary variable in the next statement we are again adding latest values of previous and current and storing it 
it into current so latest values are 1 and 1 so addition is 2 that will be stored into current and in the third step value of temporary variable will be assigned to pre so current value is 1 so that will be stored into pre after that i will be incremented again it will become 5 and the condition will be checked as 5 less than or equal to 5 which is again a true condition so i has become 5 condition is true so again program control will move inside the for loop and again value of current is assigned to temp so value of current is 2 that will be assigned to temporary variable then addition of previous and current so previous and current are 1 and 2 so addition is 3 and finally value of previous is updated with value of temp so value of temp is 2 so pre will become 2 after that again value of i will be incremented to 6 and again the condition will be checked but this time condition will be false because 6 is not less than or equal to 5 so after that this for loop will be completed and after that program will end